What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the second video in this new series that I'm doing. Basically a master class on helping you guys set up your streams, everything to do with OBS on Kick, Twitch, and YouTube. All of these tips and tricks for OBS will be helping you no matter where you plan on streaming. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over getting everything situated in OBS so that you can control your entire stream, read your chat, see your stats, see your activity feed and everything from within OBS so that you don't have to have multiple browser tabs open staring at it on another screen. This is extremely valuable information. A lot of people don't even know that this is possible with OBS, but I'm here to help you guys set it up. So just really quick before we jump into that, guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video. They make these videos possible. Let's talk about own.tv. Own.tv is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is my OBS. It may look a little bit different than your OBS, especially if you just downloaded and installed it and you're setting up your first streams. The first video I put out in this series was how to set up your first stream. We went over a couple of different things like creating scenes, a little bit of audio and things like that. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. That was the first video in this playlist. This one is gonna be about setting up these docs. And when I say docs, I mean things like this, like how my Twitch chat, is snapped to the side here in my OBS. My Twitch activity feed is also here. My multi-stream plugin is right here. So if I'm live on Twitch and I wanna also go live on Kick, I just hit this button right here and boom, I'm also live on Kick. These are considered docs. Anything that is on the sides here that you guys can see are docs. They can either be pulled out and put anywhere on any one of your screens. You could drag them off or you can you know, snap them into OBS so that they move along with OBS. Now, these docs are fantastic because they help to take all of the information you need to see and be viewing when you're live and put it right in OBS for you. So now when I'm streaming, I drag OBS over to my monitor over there and I can see everything that I need to see right there in OBS. I don't even have to have Google Chrome open taking up more resources from my PC. So this is awesome and I think that everyone should be using this. Now, it's very simple if you are using Twitch. Now, if you are using Twitch, if you're streaming to Twitch, when you want to use these docs, you're gonna to come to your settings, you're gonna come over to the stream tab here, you're gonna select Twitch as your service, and then there's gonna be a button here that says connect account. You're basically gonna log into your Twitch, you're gonna hit apply and then okay, and these docs will now be integrated with OBS, and they'll be found up here in the docs tab. Um, you could see Twitch stats, Twitch activity feed, all of that good stuff is gonna be there once you log into your Twitch. If they're not enabled, you could just click it. It'll probably pop out somewhere over here and then you could take it and you could snap them anywhere within OBS. If you put them on top of something else, it then creates these little tabs that you can flip through. So if I wanted my Twitch activity feed down here, I would just bring it down there. And if I wanted to see my multi-stream plugin again, I would click this tab. It's that simple. Me personally, I keep my activity feed there, my stream information tab right here so I can update my game, my go live notification, the title of my stream, all from right here, and then it updates straight to Twitch. Now where it gets a little bit complex is if you are not using Twitch, this is the only real integration we have so far with this in OBS. So let's say for example, we're also streaming on Kick, right? I'm gonna open up Kick. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I have my Kick creator dashboard open. Uh, I just recently started multi-streaming over to there. So we're gonna try and grow a community over on Kick. So if you do watch Kick streams, jump over there and give me a follow, that'd be awesome. Um, but anyway, we're right here on the creator dashboard. I'm gonna minimize this for one second. Go back to OBS. You're gonna come up here to the docs and you're gonna select custom browser docs. You're gonna hit that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in a doc name. So let's say we wanna dock our kick chat into OBS as well. So we're gonna just name this kick chat. We're gonna come back over to Google where our kick is. We're gonna see our chat right here in our creator dashboard. We're gonna click this little cog wheel. We're gonna click pop out chat. Now we get this little pop out. This is our kick chat popped out. You see the URL up top here? 
we are going to click this. We're going to copy it. And we're going to come back here in the URL section of the custom browser doc. We're going to paste that. We're going to hit apply. And then you could close that. And now we have our kick chat as a doc in OBS as well. So if we wanted to put it on top of our Twitch chat, boom, there it is. If we want to go back to our Twitch chat. We select it via these tabs right here down at the bottom. And you can pretty much do this with anything. If I wanted to put it on the side of the Twitch chat, you can also do that. Um, and you can kind of make this however big you want. You can stretch and move things however you want. Um, it, it's awesome. And I it really blows my mind that a lot of people aren't using this when it's so readily available. Like you can do this with literally anything. You could dock anything you want. Let's say you wanted something else. Let's pull something else up. Okay, so let's say we're watching Scotty J on Twitch. I don't really know any use case as to why you would ever want to do this in your OBS, but some people want to do things, right? So I just want to show you that anything is possible. If we wanted to put Scotty J's Twitch screen into our OBS as a doc, we would copy this URL. We would close this page. We'd come back up to custom browser docs. We would say Scotty J Twitch stream. We would just name it whatever we want. And then we're going to paste that URL in the URL section, hit apply, and you can close it. We could full screen it. And now we have this as a doc in our OBS. Uh, basically, you could put anything you want there. Anything that has a URL can be posted as a doc in OBS, and you can move these things around anywhere you want. Um, we can put them anywhere, literally. I could put this on top of my audio mixer if I want it just down there at the bottom, really small. Maybe I'm monitoring a tournament or something like that, or anything, the weather, uh, the, the stock market, whatever you guys want, as long as it has a URL, it can be used as a browser doc. And I think this is extremely beneficial to anyone who is streaming on Twitch, YouTube, or Kick. Uh, it, like I said earlier, it's very easy if you do stream on Twitch because you have integration right there. You could log into your Twitch and it pulls all these docs automatically. You don't even need to create custom ones, but you can create custom ones for anything. YouTube chat, kick chat, wherever you are, it will work. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I think this is some really useful information and I hope a lot of you start using this because it is very, very valuable. It makes everything so much more convenient. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button really does help me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hammerdance, and also multi-stream over to kick, kick.com slash hammerdance. Links to those in the description below. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I want you to keep those hammers up, and I'll see you next time.